One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Got the burn barrel going. Got all kinds of stuff going out here, but the stuff that's going out here is not really what's going on. You've seen the um, roof video. If you watch my channel, you've seen that the other day. Um, the roof is going on. And we got the siding stuff coming up. We're going to be doing Rich's house and doing all the seamless metal siding on that. So this here video is all the siding. The I get coils, big coils of just it's, uh, 13 and a quarter wide. And then, hang on, I'm going to take you over and show you what it burns it down into. But it's 13 and a quarter wide, and then it makes it into this. This has got dust on it. And we chopped it with some stuff. It's not too cool. But that's how it looks after it's done. It puts these tabs in the top where we can nail it. Puts all those bins in it. It's a form roll machine. So, that's what we'll be doing next. This video is it showing up. And dude, they stacked this stuff. The crap fell off the pallet, slid across the truck banged it all up so now i don't know if we're gonna have enough to do his house we might have to make another order and order another roll it's pretty bad and these are like 700 pound 1300 dollars rolls coils of steel and you know even three guys trying to pick up a coil of 700 pounds off the floor of a truck ain't that easy and to even get your fingers under it and have it sliced up by that metal oh my god so whatever it's the deal it's what's happening kid picked up a truck that's the video. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe, like, comment, because there's new stuff every day. We'll talk to you. Horses in the front yard. Burn pile ready to go. Earth and wood coming in. I just seen a truck come up. Montana pickup air carrier. That's him. That has to be him. Air carrier. I don't know. I know that's who they told me was bringing stuff. So we is opening up the gates for him. The siding machine, the siding business is happening. It's going on. I got cars everywhere. And you know the shape of this place with these big ass nap weeds and everything, man? I'll tell you what, a guy could spend literally the rest of his life pulling this shit out. I didn't get all the roots on that one because it's not wet enough. But I could have them a week straight of me and Rich just pulling weeds. So I ain't got the time. I'm not really caring too much about that. But, but a dum dum dum. There we go. So is he palleted or what? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you think. Okay. I'm gonna check the mail for the heck of it. Okay, well. How's it going? Not too bad, how are you? Any better? I'd rapture right here on the frickin' spot. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they didn't really wrap that stuff very good, did they? What, did it slide off? Slid off. That's a 700 pound coil. I don't think I'm gonna live, be able to lift that one. Uh, I don't think three of us will be able to lift it. Wow. Well, that's really interesting. I had these double straps, too. Well, yeah, 700 pounds, a lot of, a lot of weight. It's the coils, and then is there a whole pallet also, or what? Uh, that's yours. These two are your pallets and yours. And these boxes are yours. Okay. He's grabbing the forks. We'll be right back. Well, that's a problem. Well, how do we check that for damage? How do we do this? Uh, here's the thing. I don't want to start moving that coil. That is a 700, that's a $1,350 piece of coil, man. Okay, so we got a problem. Two pallets with two coils on each pallet. Okay. One has the 700 and a 350 on top. One has two 700s. He opens it up, it's all strapped together, and one of them is over against the other side of the trailer. It slid off the top of the other one. As he goes, oh, they didn't wrap that very well. 
So now you got a coil that slid across the bottom of the trailer. Okay. How much did it bend the bottom of it up? How much did it damage that coil? We should take pictures. Uh, I'm gonna call Garth and tell him maybe. Okay. Um, yes, we should take pictures, but two people ain't lifting that. Three people shouldn't be lifting that. I don't know what we're gonna get it on. It's 700 pounds. Can't get anything underneath it. I don't know. Don't know if I want to. Don't know if I want that roll. But you should assess. I look, the fucking thing's all torn open on the side. It's got holes in it, both of them. Okay. But. Well, how does that work? Do we just have to take it? Well, no, we're going to have to do, assess it. I didn't crawl up in there. Okay. But I'm going to, in a second here, okay. I'm wondering what happened when it came off the other one. Did it bend the whole edge of this much? Yeah. And what happened when it hit the wall? Did it roll? Did it. I mean, I don't know. We need to check, though. Well, okay. That wasn't expected, but it's what happened. I like to take pictures of them horses. Got them sold. Got the roof stripper, and it's not the kind of stripper I'm used to, but it's gonna work for what we need. And I need to take this in, because I have massive amounts of stuff to move that I pictured for eBay. So here we go, more fun. Got seeds and trash and everything. We've been cleaning, 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 and it don't stop, man. I didn't talk to him. I just talked to him that once. Oh, I haven't. Sorry. I didn't call him yet. But I need to. I wanted to assess. I wanted to assess the damage. Heavy. You should take a look. It burned it all off right here. Huh? It took this whole chunk. Okay. And that one's out of the ream. I don't know how the bottom even looks. Yeah. No. Don't even try that. Yeah, I know the whole. Seven oh three. Oh, that does make sense. They wouldn't all be standard seven hundred. What's on that one? It says right on the inside. Inside. Seven hundred even. Well, that's in seven oh three. Hi, is Garthen? Okay. Uh. Yeah, it came off the pallet somewhere, somewhere in between, somewhere. The one rolled off the top of the other. And so the two rolls are bent on the edge. The whole thing's kind of kinked. There's no way to get it up out of the truck. What do you think? The, it looks like about a half inch of the one edge of the is bent. The rest of it, I think, is okay. But what about the second one? That's half what I mean. Inch. The second one, half the first inch. one's got about a half inch it's where it fell off. A little one. Spot. I think it'll roll through the machine. But uh, I think I can get the edge of the hand truck. Out so of yeah, I don't know, Garth. Do we accept? Do we, what do we do? Uh huh. No, it busted off the pallet, ran across the truck, smacked into the wall, smacked into the floor, flew off. You got any ideas yet? I don't. Do they have a crane? If they play, where are you guys out of? Missoula. Do they have a crane at the thing? They can load it back on? Hang on a sec. Sorry.
the guy that's the guy at the place was talking about some way to get a two by four in it. He said send me pictures and he'll. Oh, you're talking to that. Huh? Which way is it rolls? If it rolls the right direction, that edge would be on the. I think Stevens road. Side of the sheet. Well, they're out of Missoula. They're out of Missoula, so I really don't want to do much. I mean, they. He's talking to someone else. I don't know. Ain't they got no way at your shop? Ain't you guys got a way at your shop? They don't back up to the loading dock and have a forklift or something? You don't have a forklift there? Oh, you know, you're not close to a dock. I don't know what this dude, I don't know. But I know it's not its not our problem. They need to get it up themselves. I'm not going to fuck with it. I'm not going to waste our time or waste money. It's not our problem. That's the, he doesn't want to talk about it. We'll just let them get figured out. Pull the rest of it out there? Um, he says pull it off and okay. tell him how much is damaged and take pictures. So you take some pictures also. I was just thinking if we front the edge of it up, we'll slide strap under it and drag it to the edge and pick it up with the forks. He's going to have to bring it back down. It'll take us about a half hour to mess around this shit. So wait until you hear from him what his deal is. No. no. I don't want to start until we know what we're doing. Okay. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I can't get a word in. He's talking to the boss or something. I can't believe they would attack him like that, honestly. I can't either. He's like, he's like, well, they weren't shrink wrapped together. Dude, he's like, they weren't shrink wrapped very well. Dude, there's not enough shrink wrap on that stuff to hold it. It's gotta know, be strapped right? down. I can reach far in? Yeah. You ain't got a forklift at the dock. We have one at the dock. I gotta go all the way We're in no hurry. And I don't know how we're gonna get that thing up without damaging that part. I mean, I can leave it on there and then when I get back, I can throw it on another pallet like that. Yeah, come yeah. back tomorrow or whenever you're back. When are you back down here? Tomorrow. Yeah, we're in no rush. Okay. Yeah. I still want to short you guys. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, if that's the problem, don't worry about it. Just take it back and put it on a pallet. Okay. Easy. Because I don't think the three of us, we're going to mess with it for an hour. No. Okay. And, I, and we might damage and we're going to damage it more. Yeah. Okay. So it's dinged up a little bit on the edge, is that what you're saying? Both of these two are dinged up on the edge. Okay. Uh, the guy said take, because when it slid off, it caught the lip. The one that hit the ground is worse, and I can't see the other side. But. Do -do -do. Yeah, I guess so. Where do we want to put it? By the dog kill, and we can back the trailer up to it and do our thing. We got a winch in our trailer. I don't know, man. It's definitely an interesting ordeal. It's never easy, is it? It's never easy. But the siding is going on. Actually, I got to get someone just labor, you know, to help out around here because. At the end of the day, me and Rich are pretty high dollar because we can do a lot of stuff. Freaking magpie camp robin bird. Get off of my stinking titan machine. Yeah, dogs. But I'm telling you what. This thing. We are ready for business. We got our pump jacks. We got the brake. And we got the siding machine. Woot, woot. Man, we are ready for this stuff. Somewhat. Now we got some metal. Can't wait. In fact, the first metal here is for Rich's house. Hi, boys and girls. Hi. It's daytime. Hello. You're getting big. You're getting big. Yes, you are. You're getting big. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. You're all fine. <clears throat> you're all fine. Don't you like it out here? What do you think about out here?
What do you think about that? Not very much. They're going to fly right back to the coop. <laughs> All right, guys. You ain't got to come out. Hello? Okay, back out here. Rich has the main stuff done, unloaded the coils. We're not going to take that one coil. We're going to make them go back. They go back and put it on there. We need to take a picture of that one coil on the pallet. That's the only one we're leaving, right? Yep. That's all we're leaving? Let's go, Lily. So my boss is going to call the company that shipped it and let them know that they need to start binding those so they don't come off, so they can off. Okay. Well, yeah, the shrink wrap that's on there is not... Yeah, not very much shrink wrap. Yeah, man, that's like not even going to hold together a pallet of uh, 12 packs of soda on a pallet. And 700 pounds is a lot of weight. Pick your feet up. No, it's just the way it is. Yeah, we got some miniature horses. Make you a deal on one. I don't have a room for it. <laughs> you can see where it. Yeah, that's. There. I need to get the picture of that. The bottom coil, the bottom coil, rabbit coil, take it up and I send a picture of that. And right here, right here too. So this is the bottom coil. Oh man, look at this. Yeah, that's not held together very well. So, doing the deal, doing the deed, doing the deed. Now check out this trailer, the way it's riding. Isn't that pretty cool? It's riding so high because we've got a load leveling hitch. And I don't know how all this works, but Rich has got this thing strapped on here. And it's interesting, it sure shoots that trailer up higher. No load on the truck, that's for sure. Okay, well, that's the video for the day. We're ready to do the roof. Got all kinds of stuff going on, man. We'll talk to you after a while. Daily videos, and there'll be more of them coming up. Not my job. He's gonna sit in his truck too, so I ain't walking out there. It's not worth it for me to chase him around. Uh, Emco, or the uh, really? Yeah. Well, this, the, the boxes have a, a, a name of a Klein, something like that. Yeah. They're the Emco distributor. That's what I was wondering. I tried to be a distributor, but they do all through Hammond Billings. I think sure ain't tightening up none, is it? No. Smack that thing over. Is that a hammer? Huh? Oh, yeah, how'd you do that? I was up against the back of my truck. Slide it onto the rant lift gate? Yeah, well, let's get the tractor and we'll get it off. Well, he got it back to the back of the truck and slid it onto a pallet or something. So we're back here again and we're gonna. Huh. Who locked the gate, man? I don't know what it was. I like put it together and locked it. I'm like. <laughs> I'll send Lily out.
top of the um, is that the driver's side? Yeah. Driver's side is going to need a switch. So everything on both of them on everything on this one is functional. Everything on that one is functional except for what you just said. Okay. And everything else we they were just all bound up. And then somebody had actually um it's like yeah, it won't unlock. Yeah, yeah it'll, it'll unlock it, yeah. Did it go all the way? Yeah. Hold on, let's see. Oh yeah. They're um and I know that's a bad switch because they had cut the wires. Okay. And I'll bet you it's because they were getting in and out with the boots and stuff with the snow plow and they kept locking themselves out of the truck. Okay. But no, no, no. We rewired it. We yeah, put it together. Like if you get a um, switch, um, I'll show you too. This one right here. Okay. This one right here. This one. And then this piece will just pop off and pull up. And the switch is right behind there. Okay. I bet you they're like 12 bucks on eBay, 14 bucks on eBay. Super easy. And if you look up a video, there's a video on YouTube that'll swap them out. It's super simple. All right. Yeah, and the lights were disconnected because they had a they had a feed that was feeding the. They just clipped the wires. Wow, the and they just clipped the wires and tapped into them. So like I don't think the down. lights never been used. Yeah, well, they clipped the wires on the, their plow system and then and then hit their plow. Seventy-one four eighty-six. The wiring. Seventy-one four eighty-six. Lily, you gonna get the gate, Lily? I'll tell you what. Just telling him, I'll bet you it rides a lot different now too. Oh yeah. Because it's gonna have like a lot less weight in it. Probably. But cool. Well, enjoy it. Right, yeah. I think there's two sets of keys in there. Is there? Yeah. One of them ain't mine. <laughs> is it? I didn't leave nothing in the center console when I went to the river, I don't think. Hey, let me unlock these with this fancy switch that doesn't work on this side. Uh-uh. Everything works except for unlock that door. Weird. Yeah, I think there's two sets of keys in there. Cool, man. Thanks a lot. Stay out of trouble. Let me know when you're ready for the bike. Corona virus shake. Right. <laughs> Have fun, man. Well, that was it. Hope you enjoyed. New stuff coming tomorrow. And we'll do one on the roof and like chunk it all together once we're done with it and all that. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.